glass of water. <laughs> I just thought of that in the front of his tie. <laughs> You need me to stretch a little so we can get to the commercial no, break we'll, we'll and build up the tension. No, go hard in. Uh, <laughs> California. California? Hey. Lock it in. It's locked in California. Here I come. $4,000. You want $16,000. I know, I'm just fooling with you. Uh, hey, JK Rowling. Lock it in. You've won $32,000. You wouldn't want to get it wrong, would you? Oh, I've got 32 grand. Who cares? Dump my money. The cubit is an ancient measure of length based on the length of the forearm. <laughs> D, Hotel Sorrento. Lock it in. It's in. Locked in. Red Simons, you have won 125. <laughs> You're going for 64000 right? You're going for $125,000. Oh, am I? You've got sixty <laughs> thousand. Our first Australian of the year was Sir McFarlane Burnett. You've won $250,000. Lock in A, Elizabeth I. <laughs> Not for the first time in his life, Molly has turned to a queen. <laughs> Risking, <laughs> risking ninety-three thousand dollars. Ever have a bet of ninety-three thousand dollars, Mike? No. For two hundred and fifty thousand dollars. I know I've done a red. Tobacco was introduced into England during the reign of which monarch? It was introduced by Queen Elizabeth the First. In which field did 16th century Italian Benvenuto Cellini achieve fame? A. Painting B. Architecture C. Music D. Sculpture B. Architecture Lock it in. No lifeline. Lock it in. Locked in architecture. Red. You've just lost $218,000 in a sculpture. Yeah. <laughs> oh dear. He was also a noted goldsmith and writer. <laughs> but you have won $32,000. Yeah. Thank you, Eddie. Thanks, mate. Chevron. Is a goat for fun!